the Mila Red Velvet S7630 is refurbished, done, working and almost looking as good as new. We have the handle, we have the machine. By the end of this video, we should have a few more bits. But for now, let's have a look at how this came out. Yes, hello my vacuum cleaner chums, how are you today? Yes, what we got out of the box is here in front of us and done, really. Yes, all we got were these two parts and well this has been washed and there is a fresh battery inside of it. The machine itself has come up really rather well indeed. We found a bag holder. That was missing. I also found a cage for a pre post motor micro filter, although we'll be changing that shortly. We have ourselves a nice original FJM bag, and that's about all, really. The only other thing to note is that I have moved. You might just see it nestling in the corner underneath the bag. There it is. Look, I've moved the ratings plate to inside the machine because it was half peeling off underneath there all of the velvet has come up pretty well a couple of little scuffs and scrapes all over it haven't managed to find any better pedals yet but hey ho it doesn't really matter too much the machine itself looks beautiful indeed it works very well. The cord rewind sort of works as well. I don't have a spare, it turns out. And indeed, I found this bit of the cable is where it was all knotted together. To try and keep it out. But, I mean, it's not too bad. It does stay out. It doesn't stay out. It was staying now, so it, it's not now. You're going to... You're going to wind yourself back in, aren't you? Yes, yeah, so all the rods are broken on it. And I don't have a spare, which is a little bit annoying, but not catastrophic. So we'll make the cable straight out. The irony of just saying how I've just got rid of a knot, and then putting a new knot in it is not lost on me. So we are actually turned on. The machine comes on like that, as you saw. And, well, it runs a fair bit better. Auto will just go to full. Very nice indeed. I'm about the same as we were when we unboxed it. But there has been some developments because yes I did have a scrap one of these didn't seem fit to say the cord wheel by the looks of it but found a pretty good hose so now we can have all of the suction coming out go back to the from a hose very nice indeed then well I found a wand and floor tool set. The wand is broken. It sort of moves if you take it apart, but all the innards have collapsed. And the floor tool is just an all tech, really. It's pretty much what this would have come with when new, I think. It just sits on there like that. And yeah, like that, it's very good indeed, really. I, I must confess, I have been using it. It is very nice. Indeed, just pull around, all velvet and lovely. And yeah, and 
until, well, early on today. Anyway, that was that. But early on today, the postman arrived with something for this very machine. Let's get it unboxed. Yes, I saw this on eBay very, very recently and put the only bid on. And here it is, look, it is not, as the box says, plastic baby swing seat, eco blue, pin instead, um, there's a lot of plastic. Oh my God, it's those are rubbish actually. In here somewhere, look, here's a pretty terrible being a floor tool with a wand. We'll put that over there. There is also an hose, which we're not terribly interested in. Wow. Look, best in horse bedding. Becco 1987, best in factory things. Uh, blah, 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 send the uh, paperwork. Right. Oh, my goodness. Everywhere is filthy now, covered in horse. Marvellous. Yes, what we have here is, and I haven't seen this yet, we have another Mila Alltech floor head look. This one, not in quite so nice condition. Well, they're actually not terrible. I thought that was actually, like, where they go rusty and... Completely terrible. Oh, why wouldn't you focus? Come on, right balance. Yeah, that's not actually too bad. It's a bit baggy, but hey, not too horrific. Main thing I spent me 99p on, or two pound, whatever it was. Look, a working, working one. Fabulous. Look, we have a slice of bread as well, which is actually packaging peanuts. We did also have a hose, but quite honestly, I do not really care about this hose, in fact, I might go as far as to say we're going to pop that in the bin. What else fell out? Ah, yes, they are pretty filthy, but we have ourselves two small tools. I mean, I have some other small tools, so that's not the end of the world. They're quite decent. Eh, whatever. They need a bit of a clean-up, but they should fit onto this tool holder which has only seen some mild steppage on but yeah that'll do we can put upholstery tool on dusting brush on and then i do not like this style of tool storage i must admit it is not one that fills me with love and joy however we also have is a manual Oh yes, oh yes. Covering machines various. S6000. Well, we have an S6730. Let's see if it's mentioned. Now, it doesn't mention any other models and even when it goes into some semblance of detail, doesn't go detailed enough. For instance, none of the heads are there. All the ones are different. But, you know, good enough. I did buy a cheap, cheap post motor filter. As well, it was before I found the filter cage. Oh, that you can have everything on and lift the hood. How marvellous. Yes, it was before I found this cage, actually, which is a bit of a bummer, because I could have saved myself a tenner. But equally, you know, it had a fancy filter in it and... Didn't buy another fancy filter because it would have cost literally more than I paid for the machine and there were no nice random used ones. So, in theory, we have ourselves our HEPA filter. We can take off the one that I found from the loft, which is broken, and we'll try out this Alltech head and see how good it is. We'll move the manual. Let's see if this random eBay Alltech head is okay in fact look it can clear up its own mess not bad on max you can barely move it
And yeah, I would say it's actually going to keep this head and one set over the other one. All these are two videos to find a small crevice tool. Uh, I don't have one to hand, so we shall have to imagine it. And we can say that I have a complete system. So there we go. Wasn't planning on owning a fairly complete, fairly nice Mila S6730 Red Velvet, but hey, here we are in front of this. Total cost probably still under about £40. I paid £30 posted for the machine, so you know, 20 plus a tenner. And then, yeah, I've spent £4 on all the tools, and they need a wash, certainly. This is what I was on about by not being rusted through, but my phone is now deciding to not glare and focus. So that's all clean up. That's decent. Manual is wrong, I think. Although I was looking in the back, actually, and, well, we could tick the box on a lot of the optional accessories that this thing should have, because, hey, we've got things like that Allergo Tech Floor Tool. I've got a Comfort Turbo Brush. I've got two of those hard floor brushes. Parquet, I think just a normal hard floor brush. Or the, no, the Parquet Floor Brush and the Parquet Twist XL. We have a micro set, I have a car care set. Well, yeah, one day we should get them all out, but they are certainly not there now. And we sort of got the equivalent of the SFAH50, but the very cheap eBay type of it. So, I'll get all this lot washed up the next time I have something ready to go in the wash so it can at least be clean and go with the machine. And hey, maybe one day I'll be able to find some better pedals and we can perhaps improve this once more. I have gave that as best of a polish as I could, but it has been dragged on on the top. Bless its little heart. But, for now at least, it's done. So, there we go. If you comment down below, if you, what's your favourite complete mealer that you have in your collection? Hey, there we go. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I, and this mealer, S6730 should one day see you soon. Bye bye.